Dr. Mindy here, and all this week I am educating you guys on a concept called autophagy, which is your cells' ability to repair themselves. So if you're new to my channel, I just want to say welcome, excited you're here. I'm on a mission to teach a million people this year how to stimulate things like autophagy through fasting. So please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, and, and I, I hope you find a tremendous amount of information that serves you and your health goals here on my channel. So, and we're doing fast training week this week. So if you caught us new, we're in the middle of doing an experience together. If you wanna know more about our fast training weeks, just put companion guide in the comments and I will make sure that you get the free companion guide so that you know how to best participate in this experience with us. And lastly, before I jump into the signs of autophagy, women may reset. We are going to be talking about how do you time your fasts and your food and your exercise around your hormonal cycle. So whether you're a postmenopausal woman or a 20 something year old woman trying to get pregnant, uh, I want to teach you how to do that and customize fast for you. And we'll be doing that in our May reset. So just put May reset in the comments and we'll send you a link for that. Okay, signs of autophagy. There are four that I like, and this is really cool because I haven't talked about this on my channel, and I can't wait to share this with you guys. I want you to know that there is no, no formal measurement of autophagy. I don't have a blood sugar reader I can give you for this. I don't have a strip you can pee on that tells you if you're in autophagy. I don't have a continuous glucose monitor you can slap on yourself to tell if you're in autophagy. So we don't have a formal measurement, but we have some signs. So here are the four signs I like. First, as you are fasting, as you've been doing the principles of autophagy, keeping your protein under 20 grams, fasting 17 hours, uh, breaking your fast with fat, is your blood sugar starting to drop? If it is either staying level or it's dropping, as you're going through this week, you, and you are in autophagy. Now, if you combine that with your blood sugar dropping and your ketones going up, you're in even more autophagy. So we know based off your blood sugar and based off your ketones. I'll tell you a tool that I absolutely love for blood sugar. It's a continuous glucose monitor. You put it on the back of your arm. I wear one about once a quarter to watch how foods are, my blood sugar is behaving with foods. So if you really wanna dive into blood sugar, uh, I recommend a product that's called NutriSense. It's in the companion guide, it's on our store, on my website, and it's an incredible tool to watch the blood sugar to make sure you don't come out of autophagy. So the first clue is blood sugar. Second clue is you have surprising weight loss. I love this idea because who doesn't want to be surprised by weight loss unless somebody who doesn't want to lose weight. But what I found with autophagy, we had been teaching fasting to you guys for years and years and years. And when I started to look at keeping protein under 20 grams and I looked at breaking the fast with fat and then amping up the, the fasting to 17, 24 hours, you all started losing weight left and right. So if you've been fasting uh, or if you've been struggling with weight loss and you've been intermittent fasting but you're not and you're not quite getting the result you want, I really want to encourage you to move to a deeper fast, 17 hours, 24 hours and bring your protein down by 20 grams and see if that's the thing that unhooks your weight loss. So when we start like being surprised at how we're losing weight, a lot of times it's cuz we've stimulated autophagy. Third one, this is also a great one. You start to notice a tightening to your skin. So we get this question a lot. I got this just yesterday on my YouTube lives on Thursday here. Somebody asked, oh, I'm losing a ton of weight. How do I tighten skin up? And my response was like, well, A, this is amazing that you're losing weight, but B, autophagy, more autophagy fasting really helps to repair the collagen effect of skins. It helps to tighten the skin up. So make sure that you're stimulating autophagy at least 17 hours of fasting on a regular basis. So you may start to notice that your skin is a lot tighter. That's awesome, that's autophagy. Okay, the last one, also an amazing sign of autophagy that is not talked about enough 
and that is you start to watch cellulite go away. Okay, cellulite, let's talk about fat for a second. Fat is where your body stores toxins and cellulite, when we're getting that kind of dipping effect to our skin and to fat, can be a sign that there's a toxic uh, consequence to those, those fat cells. So remember, autophagy is self-repair. Your body is going to clean the cells up. And in that cleaning, we are seeing here, and again, I just wanna point out that we fast close to a half a million people every month on my channel here and on my, in my Resetter Collaborative on Facebook, in my academy. We are getting so many stories of healing, so many people that are getting great results with fasting. And I hear over and over and over again, when I work on autophagy fasting, the cellulite goes away. So four things. You know you're in autophagy. You know you've primed autophagy when the blood sugar goes down and ketones go up, when you start losing more weight than you really expected, uh, when your skin gets a little tighter, and then when the cellulite goes away. Who doesn't want that? That's the benefit of autophagy fasting. I hope that helps.